Hey guys, Brendan here from Adventure Archaeology, and today we're going to talk about dating Coke bottles. Okay guys, I wanted to take just a second today to help y'all evaluate the age of a Coke bottle. I've got sitting in front of you here several generations of Coke bottles and the evolution that it went through, and I kind of wanted to show y'all just what to look at and how to date stuff. So I will go ahead and start by saying this is a Hutchinson style bottle. This is not a Coke Hutch. This is what the earliest Coke bottle would have looked like though. It would have had the stopper in it and everything like the Hutches y'all know that I obsess over. I did not have a Coke Hutch here. Clayton does have one at the house and I should have borrowed it, but I didn't think far enough ahead. But this would be your oldest and going this way would be to the newest. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on these over here because they're easier to date than the hobble skirts, but I will tell you this. The hobble skirt refers to how this is kind of shaped like an hourglass or shaped like a lady as some people would say. Anything that is before that that is straight sided that doesn't have the curve to it is pre-1915. I kind of have these in order as to how they were bottled here in our local area. This is not always the case. Here the bottom script coke is actually the oldest, the mid script is then next, and then the shoulder script is actually the newest. So this would have been like 1905 to 1910-ish. This would have fell somewhere in that same bracket and this would have been like 1910 to 1915. Now every town was a little bit different and some of them may be different on those age days depending on who was bottling it and what town. Now let's kind of get to the tricky part. These three all look the same. And what you don't realize is there's about a 35 year age gap in between them. And some people want to know how you can date hobble skirt Cokes. So the easiest way is if your bottle's old enough, you can look right here. Let me turn the bottle around where y'all can see it. And it says November 16th, 1915. Now that is the patent date. That is not the exact date of the bottle, but that is what we refer to as a 1915 hobble skirt. Now moving forward, the next step in the bottle would be December 25th, 1923. Now you can also see the date right here, December 25th, 1923, and that is also referred to as a Christmas Coke. So that would be your next step date. About eight years after the original patent date is when this patent date came out. You look at it, you don't see a lot of difference. And to be truthful, there's really not a ton of difference. Now let's move on and go to a regular, what we would call a Pat D hobble skirt. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is no date up here. You can see it says US Patent Office. Some of them will say Pat D right there, that'll be the newest. This actually is not a Pat D, but I just grabbed this one for an example. Now how do you tell the age of this bottle? Well, it's actually a lot easier than what you think. Even though it doesn't have the date clearly stated on it, doesn't say anywhere on the bottom, it does have something called a date code. The date code can be found right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says 56-80. And that is your date code. The last, the last two numbers really don't mean anything. The first two numbers are actually the year. So this would be a 1956 hobble skirt. So there's your range from 1915 to 1923 to a 1956. And that's how we date Coke bottles. Now, I'm hoping that throughout the year, I'll be able to show you all a little bit more of how to date some of these over here because we're going to be digging them. And hopefully we're going to be digging a bunch of these. And that'll help you all out. So I hope this helped a few people. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please consider it.